Hi folks, about a quarter to four, August 17th, Sunday, 81 degrees, that says 80. Twenty five point two centigrade, and the sun's sun's been in and out today. What have I been up to? Um, there's a couple of tasks I've been avoiding because with my hip the way it is, you know, getting down on my knees and getting up and getting down and getting up and getting down hurts. But Break jobs don't do themselves, so I finally got the two of them done. Turns out the PT Cruiser did not have brakes. Matter of fact, the brakes were in really pretty good shape, but there was quite a bit of rust on the drums for me letting them sit about. So I uh, finally got that done. Yeah, let me shut this down. I don't want YouTube getting on my cage. Right, asking me if I have copyright. Oh, uh, I don't know how well you guys could see in there, but maybe the front's better. Maybe the other side in the sun is better. I don't know, I think you guys can see in there a little. Let me go to the sunny side. And then stand in the sunlight. I think you guys can see that. So, I cleaned them up. Which is a good thing. They still, each each wheel on that thing seems to be a little noisy. I'm hoping that by driving it, they'll clean up a bit. I also did the brakes on the Suzuki, and I uh, popped for the um, ceramic pads and ventilated rotors and all that stuff. I checked the backs, and it looks like there was enough enough on them, so. Hopefully, I could get an inspection sticker for the rig tomorrow. There's only 30 grand on it, so it's still, sorry for the wind noise. It should, uh, everything else is good, so hopefully it just guns right through. The Suzuki wasn't bad to work on, the wheels. Look, I gotta kneel down a thousand times a day here. <clears throat> the wheels have those um, bolt, other than obviously those, um, they have the threaded holes that you could just thread a bolt into and uh, and push the wheel or push the the hub right off the front. Um, and they both came off reasonably easy. Then you can see one side has anti-seize on it, the other side doesn't. Um, I'm not sure why one side has anti-seize. Oh, the reason why one side has anti-seize is I got a flat in the front. Whenever I take off a wheel, <coughs> I use anti-seize. Um, and that makes quite a difference. So anyway, um, those are the two rotors. They really, they weren't too bad. This one had a hung up brake pad. So, anyway, anyway, they changed and uh, boy, it stops nice. Nothing like fresh rotors to make a car stop real nice. Those threaded holes in the uh, front rotors, they were a little bit. Um, trashy so I took out you know the Harbor Freight cheap set here and um, used that to kind of clean you know chase the threads so the bolt didn't strip out cause me any trouble I'm gonna put that away anyway after fooling around with all that 
and given that it's almost four o'clock on Sunday, I think, and I'm dusty, you know, brake jobs are dirty. So I think I'm gonna grab a shower and clean up a little bit. The next thing I really want to do, whether I want to or don't, but I, I really need to do, I need to uh, pop the rear end out on this thing. And I guess there's really no easy, easy way to do this, right? I'd like to, uh, I'd like to pick it up with the loader, the front end loader. But uh, this is plastic, I think, right? This is fiberglass. So maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll grab it in the back here somehow and lift it up. I don't know if the body, the back body is made out of metal. I don't know if that needs to come off. I, I'll be poking around with it tomorrow. I'll let you guys know, depending on how it goes. You'll definitely see a video on, on this, but I, I think I think she's uh, she's next. I'd really like to get her done. Um, I found a place, seemed to be a family business out in Pennsylvania, that sells John Deere lawnmower parts. Um, their website is kind of... Uh, I'm not criticizing, but just their website is is not you know 2014, so you can't like instantly check their inventory and see what they have and what they don't have and do cross referencing and kind of figure out what you need from their website. Their website basically shows pictures of the family and uh, and a million John Deere riding lawnmowers in various little pieces. Um, and um, there's a couple of pictures of uh, ones he restored on there, um, and he's he's now selling. I don't recall him putting any prices on it, on any of his stuff. The little bit I've used at John Deere, I really do want to get it out there running again, make it run. About this mess. I've been uh, thinking about it and thinking about the lower garage and how to make things work. I think where the garage doors are, and I don't have as much ceiling space, that's where the uh, three-wheelers are going to end up, like those two down there. Uh, you know, the other ones are going to move down. Those will move this way. And then where I do have plenty of ceiling space, right, right up to the ceiling, that's actually a good place to stack tires so that one could you know put more than three on top of each other right you see there's only three big ones or on little ones I managed to get up to four with uh, by stacking them in that area I'll be able to get it you know closer to uh, probably six or eight and probably maybe six piles of eight which should really get rid of a lot of my tire problem I got tires all over the place so that'll keep the tires inside out of the sunlight out of the ozone and get them get them stacked up um, so I've been thinking about that but my back's probably gonna hurt for two days and my hips gonna probably hurt for two or three days from that little project, that little brake job project, so um, it'll, that'll be slowing me down. I ordered all the uh, parts to do the brake jobs, and I and I upgraded them to the. Uh, you could see the slotted rotors and all that. I ordered more than I actually needed. I ordered the hardware. I ordered the shoes. I ordered. Um, four uh, rotors in the back or actually drum rotors but I, I ordered the drum rotors for both cars I ordered the uh, fronts I ordered everything for the cars and for both cars it, it was um, less than four hundred dollars 
worth of parts. Where I live now, um, a single brake job. I have buddies who get brake jobs done. And very qu quickly, they seem to go um, rotors with, uh, with brakes. One axle is typically a $500 job locally. So, so I wasn't thrilled about cleaning all those rotors on the um, PT Cruiser, you know, kneeling and cleaning them with a wire brush, um, a wire brush on the end of a four inch grinder, of course. Um, no, I wasn't thrilled about doing that. And I wasn't thrilled about messing with the brakes on the Suzuki. Um, when you could do all that work and save a couple of hundred bucks. I don't know what you guys make a day, but if I can uh, basically buy more parts than I need and save, you know, 200 bucks in a day, right? I don't make, you know, by the time I get done with taxes and everything else, I'm not taking home 200 bucks a day. I don't know too many people who, uh, who are, so... Right, if you could, uh, if you could do something like that and save yourself some money, it's not a bad thing to do. Anyway, I've been babbling for about 11 minutes, telling you about a brake job that I didn't show you guys how to do. So I should let you guys go, and I should get cleaned up and get get myself put back together again to hit it tomorrow. Folks, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Um, remember to keep your feet down and your head up. And uh, I did a couple of the things I've been avoiding. Now it's time for you guys to do some of the things you've been avoiding. Pick some project out there, some annoying thing, some, some stupid annoying thing that you knew if you did it, you would feel better. You know, your life would be a little easier and... Y you know, things would be good for you. I know everybody has them. Um, for me, it was getting those two brake jobs out of the way, and they're done now. So, I'm happy. Okay, folks, take care. Enjoy your lives. Bye now.